Today, I'm gonna turn this outdated, falling off the wall, irrigation timer. I'm gonna replace it with a smart timer so we can control it from the app. We're just gonna unplug it. This thing's falling off the wall as it is. Get inside to the wiring. This is this sensor that I don't know if there's actually anything out there. I'm not gonna hook it up. So take note of how yours is wired. I'm actually going to not worry about this because it's uh, four zones. This is my common, so the commons must be jumped out in the valve boxes. So my green is common. Go ahead and take a picture of yours or mark your wires so you know. Make sure it's unplugged. I'm going to rearrange my zones. I don't like the way it was on this one anyway. Therefore, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put red, blue, yellow, white. I'll show you what to do with these extra wires so they're not just all hanging there. But don't cut them off. You might need them. This is a pretty good controller. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it just, just in case. Okay, I got the new controller. Figure out where I'm gonna put it. Plenty of wire. I might actually put it here. That way I can bring the wire right up this corner and then over into the controller. And then I can fix that crap on the wall later. I'm gonna put it right about there. We're gonna hang us hang it off of a screw head and then mark these two holes. I'm gonna put it here. I'll put it a little higher. I don't want it to get damaged. I really like these screw in anchors. They're threaded you thread into the drywall and then you thread the screw into there. Like this. It's flush. Make sure you leave it out some so you can slide it in there and over. Mark your two holes. Like it level. I'm gonna do these two. You can do the center one if you want. Let's pre-start the hole with these things. It keeps the drywall from buckling out. Go ahead and pull on them, make sure they don't come out. Make sure they're tight. You don't want to too tight because you want to bust these plastic connections, but you don't want it too loose. The screwdriver is well worth it when you're doing stuff like this. Feed up my valve wire. So what you want to do, if you want to clean this up a little,
put the ones you're using off the side, get the extra straightened out. Do not cut them off. You might need them down the road. And straighten this wire out. And then all you're gonna do is wrap them around the base like so. And they're there if you ever need them. What I'm gonna do is fold that in like that and then bring these back around. Don't remember what we said, so I'm gonna do red, yellow, white, and blue. It doesn't really matter since it's Wi-Fi. When I was running back and forth up and down the hill, it really annoyed me. Red, yellow, white, blue. Make sure your zone wires aren't touching each other. And then my green, those are the common. And the commons are tied together outside at the valve box. So I only got one common inside. There. I'm going to go ahead and use some of these cable straps and a hammer. And plug it in. I don't know if you can see it. There's a P glowing and then the the B. There's my basic install. These are my cable wires. Came in the house, running upstairs. When I get all that cleaned up, I'll, I'll straighten this up. Now let's get it hooked up to the Wi-Fi and see if it works. This is a four zone. They make an eight zone. It's running off a of Wi-Fi. I got my zip code in so it'll know when it rains and it'll shut it down. I'm using the smart watering option. It's supposed to help save you water. So if you're looking for an inexpensive smart watering irrigation timer, get yourself one of these Orbit Beehives. This thing cost me about 50 bucks. Came in a day. Put it in that day and now it's watering my grass. Do me a favor and hit the hit hit all that YouTube stuff down below for me. Thanks.